Hey all, and welcome back. It's been a while, I know that. Sorry about that. We had issues Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It's all good now. We're all, we're all okay. Beehive. Let's talk about Beehive. So Beehive is FreeBSD's hypervisor. There we go. That, that's what it's for. It's basically Hyper-V for FreeBSD. It's quite new. It's not been around for a long time. It's still actively being developed quite a lot. It's been around since I think 2011, something like that. It's, 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 not, it's not new, but it's not mature. It's getting there. I stumbled across something a little while ago. It's a web admin control panel for Beehive. And I just thought I'd, I'd give it a go. I'm not going to set up any virtual machines. This is not a tutorial. It's, it's a quick look at the actual interface and how to install it more than anything else. So we're just going to copy that link. We've got our terminal here. And I've got a folder ready for it. So let's just fetch that. There we go. It's not very big. So we'll have a quick look at it and see what happens, shall we? So a quick look at the, the readme. There you go. Graphical and secure web control panel for FreeBSD's Beehive. So from my understanding, what you can do with this is you can set this up on one machine and you can manage multiple Beehive hypervisors. This is literally just all of your hypervisors in one place. We'll have a look, shall we? See what it says. It also has a command line interface. Now, I didn't know that, but uh, okay, yeah, I should have known that really, but there we go. So, install. Minimum of uh, FreeBSD, FreeBSD 12. Minimum of 250 meg of free space on your var lib and a network interface. Now, that kind of, you know, that, that sums up most FreeBSD installs. If it doesn't, you won't be able to use it, I'm afraid. So we've done that. We've extracted it already. So it's literally just install.sh. Let's have a look, shall we? So, HTTPS. Two, four, nine. There we go. So log in with admin and the password that it just gave you. Let's see what we get. Let's maximize that. <laughs> That's quite neat. Let's have a look at the logs. There's our client just logged in. Account settings, you can change your password. I would suggest you do that. So you can add your networks. Here we go, one network. No virtual machines there yet. Let's add in some storage. Where's home? There it is. There we go. We've added that in. And now, obviously, we can add in some users if we want to. Do, 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 user or administrator. Now, from my understanding, again, the administrator can manage 
any hypervisor that's in this, whereas a user can only manage the one that they log into. Could be wrong. System informations. Spelt slightly wrong. Doesn't matter. So there we go. It's all set up and running. Good stuff. As I say, this isn't really going to be a tutorial. Um, I don't want it to be that way. But we'll just set up a test. Nice. Yeah. Bada boom. And there it is. So what can I do now? Let's have a look at it. Wait for console. Yes. Assign user access. No. Oh, nice. This is very good. I like this. There we go. So we'll just bung that in there. See if it can connect. Now I suspect this still won't connect because as mentioned before, crummy hardware. So we'll just leave that on the back burner. So this really does need to have a bit of an exploration. It's not something I'm going to get into in, in this video, but um, I'm going to really explore this because I quite like this interface and I think I think it will be a massive help to a lot of people. It's very nice. I like it. I might revisit this when I've got a decent piece of kit to try this on. But for now, guys, check it out. The link is in the description for this. It's worth checking out. It's a uh, and it's well worth a look. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Um, give me a, a comment down below on, on what kind of management you use for, for your hyper for your hypervisor. Subscribe, click the bell, and it'll let you know when I release new videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.